hi welcome to this sql server video tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show us how to write into microsoft excel workbook so let's get started for this operation we're going to use the azo data studio and of course we want to use the adventure works 2019 database now in our database we have this select all statements on this human resources schema name dot v employee department table name and of course having executed this simple query we can see all the columns such as business entity id title first name middle name and so on now in our query we need the business entity id first name last name job title and department and then we're going to use the where clause and the in operator which serve as a shorthand for multiple or conditions so let's dive in so i'm going to start by typing select and then i give the names of the columns that we need which are business entity id comma first name comma last name comma job title and the department okay and then you can see from human resources dot the employee table name and then when we execute this you can see all the five columns business entity id first name last name job title and department so we're going to use the where clause so we're going to see where excuse me where department and then we use the in operator and then we need the bracket and inside the bracket i've just copied the conditions which could be which are engineering and so on so i can paste what i have here so we can see department in engineering or research and development or marketing or production and this is all we need so i can you know take this query and execute and call we have how many rows we have one 98 rows in total and this is what we can send into excel now how do we communicate this into excel it's very simple all i need to do is to look for this pane here now this is what's called csv this is excel and this is what's called json and so on so i'm going to just click on save to save as excel and they can give the name so let me just call this one sql server you know query or whatever you want that's fine and then the save as type is going to be excel and of course you can choose your destination let me just put it in my desktop and click on save and then we can see successfully saved results to c drive blah 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 and then i can even click on open file so i can see the results in excel and this is the final outcome you can see how many rows we have um, control down arrow key you can see we have 198 counts which is the same thing with the 198 rows in the microsoft sql server okay so this is how we can easily write or communicate query from sql server to microsoft excel and i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like you can comment you can share and consider subscribing to the channel thank you and bye for now cheers